Yeah, my favorite look is, uh, it's, I think it's from season one. I wear a, a sort of a white suit with a white, what is it called? A Kang, Kang, Kango? What are those hats called? Anyway, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's uh, when uh, uh, Chase sings at the uh, prom, or I sing for Chase at the prom. I would say, yeah, my favorite habit was season one, too, where I get this, like, bejeweled leather jacket from the candy store and I think we all meet for dinner and it's when Ken did that amazing monologue about how much it means to be Chase James manager and I was like oh I love this show and Ken is brilliant and I was just like that whole scene was magic and I'm and they say I love your jacket and she's like candy store it's like leather and you know I love was that. it from the M&M store M&M store that's right yes the M&M uh, yeah. store mm -hmm, that's right yeah They're hovering around their rock bottom, just kind of dipping their toe into the worst moment of their lives. Um, and then this season, I think like it becomes too much for the two of them to take and they finally do uh, reach reach full peak sadness. I think what's so great about this show and what Chris and Sarah have created is that you keep thinking that these characters can't go any lower and then they do. And um, that's what makes it so funny. And um, yeah, they kind of take them higher in terms of status to achieve an ultimate low. My character's rock bottom is probably when I get so exhausted and I wind up in the hospital. Second season, end of second season when she's in the fashion show and she faints because she's so exhausted and she winds up in the hospital um, on an IV, needing hydration. And she has like a breakdown, you know, She's, she breaks down, she, she's doing too much. And I would say Streeter's rock bottom uh, and uh, is when he somehow makes it about him while Molly's, while Pat is on me in the hospital and he somehow starts to whine about, you know, uh, uh, not receiving enough uh, attention and love from Pat in a moment where she's just had a breakdown. When GQ keeps getting found out and they go, rats, all of them being like, oh, rats. That's what I they say, right? They're always putting drinks on Billy Eichner's tab. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. There's a lot of feet references that I that I think is a running gag. I love Lance's dabbing. That remains a uh, an amazing uh, ad <laughs> to every scene. Uh, Chase Dreams' growth and development, to me, <laughs> is very very special running joke that is now in its third season. And what's hilarious is that Case Walker, our boy, who we love so much, I friggin' love that kid, is now like six foot three and 200 pounds of chiseled muscle. He's just literally got a barrel of snakes on his back. And because he's a rock climber and all he does is spend all his time off season climbing mountains in Colorado and traveling the country with like his backpack and a sleeping bag. Season one, uh, Richard Kind is Skip Champlin. <laughs> um, the agent, every single time you see him, you think he's doing one thing, but it turns out he's doing another. Like he's like, oh, he's not just walking home with food, he's delivering food. Yeah. Um, that is my favorite. I hope, I hope this season we get to see that. I hadn't met Kiernan Shipka until the actual shot we shot of her walking up to us. And my reaction was a real reaction. She absolutely blew my hair back with like gorgeous star power. It was so shocking. You're like, oh, yeah. I'm not that. That's yeah. that's something else. That blows from within. Yeah. Um, well, Kate Berland is just so brilliant as the agent she is hysterical i saw her one woman show she's one of my favorite female comedians i saw her one woman show in new york and la and her playing that agent uh she is just fit. It, those scenes make me laugh harder than anything what i love is that uh the brand scott jones the progression from the first season to this season how he is you know now you know smack dab in the middle of the storytelling and and I, I, I just thought he was incredible the moment he opened his mouth in the pilot 
and then to, to you know to, to get to see more of him as the seasons progressed has been um, a real gift for the show and also just for me as a fan. I think I was really excited for Kieran and Shipka on our show. That was exciting. Working with Wanda has been incredible. Now I know she's part of the core cast and she's not a guest star, but honestly, like to me, I don't get to work too much with Wanda. So yeah. whenever I am there with Wanda, cause we kind of come in and out. I feel like when Wanda's working on Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm working on Thursday, Friday. So to me, when Wanda's there, I'm just sitting in, in presence of a legend. Just being around her. You just feel like the gravity of talent, you know? She's so, so funny. And you, we've loved her for how long? I mean, like, it's like Molly Shannon, Kevin Marino, you know, Wanda Sykes, God, they're so funny. Real guest star, when we had finally Alessia Cara pop up, you know, and like <laughs> after that whole run, where you just yeah, see Brooke trying year. to get in touch with Alessia and she walks into the steam room, it was like, yes! Finn and Drew this season. Finn Argus, who plays Lucas, Ch Lucas Chanmoy. I don't ship them in the sense that I root for them. I think it's a nightmare, but I think it is one of the funniest, one of the funniest like concepts of a queer relationship or of any kind of relationship, a guy that's always in character. Um, that is my favorite couple that maybe they've written ever. I mean, I think that's so funny. I mean, I think, I guess I gotta go. I mean, I, I'm uh, Brooke and Lance, I ship. I ship them, not just because you ship me, but I genuinely ship whether you sh ship me or not. Uh, Listen, I ship you. I want to ship you, but I ship you and Finn. But it's nice that you ship me and you ship me and Josh. Like, ship, ship, ship. Maybe ship, we ship, should ship. just ship each other? Should we be together? Oh my God. Leaves her husband for brother <laughs> on show. <laughs> well, Pat and Streeter for me. I mean, that's the Of course. Couple. Yeah. There's a, I, I think I ship Brooke and Lance all day. I think that remains a thing. I think I like that my mom's with Streeter. As, as Chase dreams, I think he's a little odd, like weird about it. So I have to go with Brooke and Lance. Come on, Lance and Brooke, let's go. What are we talking let's go about? Lance and Brooke. Let's all go day, Lance and Brooke and Lance all, all day. day. Come on. Oh my gosh, let's do it. I'm going Lance and Brooke too. You Come gotta on. Them. Come yeah. on. You see them smile at each other. You see them on screen together. You're just like, let's, let's go. This is the best. This is the best. <laughs>